Well, I'm on my way to work. So if you saw the video last night, I went to a bar with a few co-workers. Somebody thought I was trying to get at their woman. I'm about to go to work, and when I see this motherfucker, I'm going to put him in his place. See, I've learned one thing about when people drink, they want to fight somebody. Now, me, I, I'm what, 5'4", 165 pounds. Um, 5'5", 165 pounds, 170. But, it was two dudes. So I'm thinking, one dude kept on saying, you would have got your ass whooped, you would have got your ass whooped. And I'm thinking, in the course of my life, how many times have I fought one person? Maybe like four times in my life this fight was one on one. I remember fighting eight people. I remember fighting ten people. You know, of course there's always the two on, on one. I fought like seven or eight of those. There's no way in life these two dudes would have beat me at a bar. I'm going to explain one thing. Unless these two people are twins, they wouldn't have had a chance. First of all, you know, I had a couple of homies there too. You know, regardless of whether I knew they was going to jump or not, I didn't. So when you're in a situation where somebody want to nut up on you, don't worry about somebody jumping with you. You just be able to handle the two that jump on you. And I can handle more than one. I have fought more than one person on several different occasions. And let me tell you, the mind of one works way better than the mind of two. Because two people can't work in conjunction unless they got down before. So, based on all that, when I go to work today, I'm going to talk some shit. Um, I'm going to tell dude about his friend's woman. I'm going to let him know. I'm going to let him know, hey, I was just, you know, being cool. Now, if this bitch can't take care of me and my family, I can't fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? If I'm going to be scandalous and shit, the bitch better break bread. And if she ain't going to try to break bread, I ain't going to try to talk to no bitch. And, you know, come on, man. But I'm not going to fight this dude today. I'm going to put forth the challenge. Now he's sober. Get with it. You want to call your buddy up? Call him over? Both of you guys can have at it. Now you're sober. Bring him. That's what I'm going to tell him. The least I can do is be the man I am. And, and last night, I should not have allowed anyone to ask me to leave the bar. Especially some people, oh man, just leave. Just leave, man. Hmm. Bunch of scary ass motherfuckers. With the assumption that just because I'm smaller, that I'm going to fold over. I'm going to roll over. Come on, man. Ain't nobody in the history of my life ever seen me roll over. And it ain't finna happen. <laughs> and so I'm going to go to work with one attitude in mind and that's not the attitude that you have going to work you don't go to work thinking that you're finna clown somebody as soon as you get in there but that's the attitude that I'm gonna have because if I see dude it is only in my man in my manliness to, I have to do this I have to let this person know that it was wrong and the next time you're wrong you wanna jump you might as well just get off the ground with it you know what I'm saying Make it move. Do something. Mm, do something. It's kind of funny how every time I do these videos, I look tired and I'm yawning and shit. But, you know, YouTube makes me tired. Get tired of the bullshit. But only reason I come on YouTube sometimes is to get the bullshit out. I gotta get it out. Get that shit out. So, I'm gonna go to work. And I'm going to put forth the challenge. Hey, you, you feel like you up for it today? Because apparently people was uh, not believing in my skills last night. So, here's my cell phone. Call your boy up. And uh, you come down here. You know, we can go someplace else. And I'll fight both of you motherfuckers. Because I got nothing to lose. What do I have to lose? Lesson number one. When somebody drunk think you fucking with a woman or saying something to a woman, let that shit go. The worst thing you can do is get between a man and his woman, especially if he ain't doing what he's supposed to be doing. Two, you got someone defending their friend to a co-worker. In other words, he could have just been trying to make himself look big 
in front of this dude and his woman but not at my expense that's wrong three never never ever underestimate the person which you want to challenge they don't know I could have pulled out a butter knife and stabbed somebody in the fucking neck everybody's trying to tell me oh you gotta get back you gotta get back for what a man who's done nothing has no fear a man who's scared because he did something is fucking scared and that's the bottom line so when everybody's like oh <gasps> like what what because if I had done anything I'd be looking at you lumped up right now any if I had done anything I'd be looking at you lumped up right now and that's the difference between a man and a boy a boy go get lumped up because he can a man avoids any action at all at every time because I have more to live for it to than to get lumped up at a bar by somebody's wrong and then possibly going to jail for fucking off two white cats in the bar because that's exactly what would have happened out of all those people in there there was three black people in the bar and I was the only person that anybody wanted to Ooh, calm down calm down I'm not screaming at anybody I'm not yelling at anybody but I had to be calmed down it's there is no logic in that you got two guys walking up on one little guy all in a rage both of them drunk I didn't sit down and I didn't back down I'm like dude problem you did them no I didn't I'm sorry you're wrong you're no -uh. no I didn't no -uh. no -uh. no -uh. no -uh. then the dude I was sitting with oh, yeah you said something to my woman what did I say to your woman I said you know Peggy you always look cute because you carry yourself like a woman that's disrespectful to tell someone they carry themselves properly so when I see her sorry ass at work how you doing can't even say hi to your ass please I don't like being like that but I will because you know it, it, and a lot of people say it's the color thing I've been mentioning the color lately that's what I noticed last night at the bar everybody in the bar wanted to subdue me while people are trying to attack me why you want to hold the little guy when two guys are coming at him what's the logic in that is, is it I'm some super bad uh, karate genius that they had to subdue me because uh, I'm going to fuck up something please I told them I forgive my credit card back it's time for me to fucking go Give me my credit card back. Give me my money back. Cancel my orders. I got to fucking go. So, when you got two guys at the bar, who do you throw out? You throw out the one less likely to spend money. And I had my credit card on the tab. I ain't fucking rich. But my card was up there. Get my shit back. Give my, nah. Cancel this. Give my card. We're done here. <laughs> Please. So, I'm on my way to work. I'm about to leave right now. Now, after tonight, when I get back from work, I'm lumped up. I can either tell you one of two things it was a victory, or I should have left shit alone. But we're going to see. Maybe I can show you some bruised knuckles or something. A friend of mine told me he got a fight the other day. Yeah, come in. He told me he got a fight the other day. It made him feel good because he hadn't had a fight in a long time. Sometimes as a man, you have to fight somebody. You have to just get that out. But I haven't had a fight in about, what, seven, eight years. So, hey, I didn't lose the last one. <laughs> I didn't plan on losing the next one either. So, um, matter of fact, I think I did lose the last one. I'll tell y'all about that. I'll tell you about it. You've been tubed.